and uh, also in Q2 the the mix of tyres, you know, the intermediates and the dry tyres. So uh, it was needed a lot of communication between the team and the driver because we can feel something on the car, but the pit lane, maybe the trend is just different and everyone put the dry tyres. So eventually we put the dry tyres when we didn't agree that it was okay for dry, but we wanted to be in the same tyres as everyone else. So those kind of things were very challenging today. How much more pressure do you feel in these kind of conditions as a driver? And a lot. A lot. Not Tell enjoyable. Us. No. No, you don't enjoy. <laughs> no, it, you, you don't enjoy this this kind of of qualifiers because uh, there is everything to lose and not much to gain. You know, eventually in Q3 you can risk a little bit and like Nico, you know, you can be in the first row or Albon, you can be first in Q2. So there is always one or two surprises. But generally when you have a fast car as, as we are and you are fighting at the top, you can only make a mistake. You, you normally don't make any any glory. So it, it is uh, stressful. One more question, the updates, how are they working? What is possible tomorrow? Yeah, they were good. I think yesterday they, they, they were delivering the expectations in terms of downforce. I think uh, we saw also that we need maybe a little bit more free practice to optimize the setup a little bit uh, around those parts. So I think we will get better in Silverstone in Austria uh, when we uh, have a little bit more free practice. But uh, we are happy and uh, let's see tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so